praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. My dear friends, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. God sent me here to preach to you about Jesus Christ. Hoping that some of you will give your life to Jesus Christ today. Today's message is test every spirit. Test every spirit. Believe it or not, you must test every spirit. If not, some of you will be in a false religion. Now in Christianity, we are diversity. Often we as Christians, we are called believers. But I want you to listen very carefully. Unbelief is a virtue. Listen to this verse. First John chapter 4, verse 1. Just these three words. Beloved, do not believe. And I'll tell you why. Do not believe every spirit. You see, friend, a Christian live a life of faith. The Bible says, without, without faith, it is impossible to please God. But by this, we are, we are told not just to believe anything. Faith is not better than its origin. And faith is not better than its object. Somehow we get the idea we are just supposed to believe anything and everything because we are believers. No. Listen to what John says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 to 6. Beloved, do not believe every spirit. Watch this. But test every spirit, whether they are from God, because many prophets, many false prophets, have gone into the world. And by this, you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that your Christ have come in flesh is of God. And every spirit does not confess that your Christ has come in flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which have had was coming and is now already in the world. You see, way back right there, the spirit of Antichrist was in the world even in the days of Apostle John. And so today, in verse 4, you have got little children and overcome them because he who is in you. Is greater than that which is in the world. If Jesus Christ is in you, Jesus Christ is greater than false prophet. Jesus Christ is greater than false religion. Jesus Christ is greater than devil. No devil in hell, out of hell, can touch you. If Jesus Christ is living in you. Amen? Verse 5. They are of the world, and therefore they speak of the world. And they have the word. Now those who live in the world, they hear what the world tells them. They speak like the things they hear. Verse 6, we have God. And he who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of the truth. And the spirit of error. And the spirit of the truth. And the spirit of force. If you are hearing the word of God coming out from my mouth, it means you belong to Jesus Christ. You are the spirit of God living in you. If you reject the word of God coming out from my mouth, that means you are the spirit of the false prophet. You are the spirit of error living in you. Now, let me ask you this question. What is faith? Faith is not just simply deciding on what you want to believe. And believing it, that's not faith. Our faith is not trying to make yourself to believe what you feel. It's not true. 
That is not faith. Faith is getting the word of God, hearing from God and acting upon it. Romans chapter 10. That's what they call Bible faith. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing what? Hearing the word of Jesus Christ. Hearing the word of God. And now without faith, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Hebrews 11 verse 6. It is a dangerous game, a dangerous thing for you to live your life without faith. But there's something more else, perhaps even more dangerous for you. And that is to believe and to put your faith in the wrong thing. Or in the wrong place. Listen to the scripture again. First John chapter 4 verse 1 says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test every spirit. We are called, God bless you children, we are called to test spirit. Whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not, I want you to know today that God has called us to test every spirit. If you're a Christian, by their friend, because there's many false prophets. The Bible says, I've gone out into the world and to deceive believers. Can you imagine that, my dear friend? There's a false religion today in the world. There's 1,200 religions in the world. And in these religions, a devil is behind it. And many people believe in the wrong place, having their faith in the wrong things, and following, following false God. You have been deceived. You have been misguided and you have been destroyed. So today I want you to see, because Apostle Paul is warning us about false prophet. And it is very interesting because John says, we have to have love, but sometimes we have gotten the idea we have to become soft-hearted. We have gotten the idea we have to be, become soft-hearted. No, my dear friend. You see, it does not mean this, that you have to believe everything. It does not mean that you have to believe everybody. It does not mean you have to believe every religion. No, my dear friend, because it will be a great day. It will be a great day in UK when people will turn away from religion to Jesus Christ. To turn, for, to, turn to faith. And put in their faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible says, believe not every spirit. Believe not every spirit. Test the spirit. Try the spirit. Whether or from God. But you'll be amazed today. You'll be amazed today where people faith are, what people believe. What the things people believe will amaze you. <laughs> you'll be amazed today. People believe in the of rubbish thing, false prophet. False religion, false faith, false books, and yet it amazed me that these people put their faith in the wrong thing. And that's why the Bible is telling you today do not believe everything, test every religion, test it to see if it's from God. Because there's a lot of man, man made religion today, and people putting their trust in it. These people, they believe everything except believing the living God. Except believing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You believe in a man who died, who did not come back. Some of you believe in reptiles. Some of you believe in yourself. Men believe is not a faith. Amen? The Bible says, without faith in God, it is impossible to please Him. It is impossible to please Him. And that's why many people today are struggling around today between Christ and the Antichrist. They have gone long time ago. Many people today having the same people, the same problem that people in the past have long time ago. Do you know that devil would rather have you to believe in the wrong thing than to do the wrong thing? Do you know that? Why? Because the thought is the father of the dead. If he can get you to, to have a wrong thought in your mind, 
then he does not have to worry about your deeds. The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so he is. You see, friend, when you sow a thought, you reap a deed. You reap a habit, you sow a habit, you reap a character, you sow a character, you will reap a destination. You have a destiny to attend, you have a destiny to face. And that's why today, you need to think hard about this thing we call salvation. The Bible says, test and see that the Lord is good. The Bible says, test to see if you are in faith. I want to tell you today that every first religion begins here today in this world can close your ears. When you die, go to hell. You cannot come out of your ears. So receive to the word of God right now, my dear friend. The word of God is penetrating into your ears, into your heart. For the Bible says, faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. So every thought that you have here today, devil set up things in the heart and the minds of unbelievers to even blind their minds not to receive the word of salvation. A false belief system that is in your mind is being set up by the devil. And that's why devil, devil is behind false religion. Devil is not against religion. When I'm inviting you to Christianity, I'm not inviting you to religion. I'm inviting you to fellowship, friendship, and relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? So that's why the Bible says very clearly and very plainly. The love, believe not every spirit. Test every spirit. Try every spirit, whether are from God. So God tells us to test our faith. And by the way, faith that is not tested cannot be trusted. So you need to put your faith in test. And God will put your faith in test. And to see if your faith is genuine. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21, Prove all things. That is, test all things. Now, what is the reason? Do we Christians have for believing? What do we believe in? We believe our Lord Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is God. He came in flesh. He died and he rose again. That's why I'm here following him. If Christ died did not come back from death, I will not be preaching about dead man because a dead man can never save anybody. But glory be to our Lord Jesus Christ, glory be to God, that Jesus Christ rose up from death on the third day. And right now he's in heaven, it has seen for me, even as I'm preaching to you right now. So I want you to understand, there's a massive difference between Christ and the Antichrist. Between pure religion and false religion. Between the spirit of the truth and the spirit of the error. You better know this today, and you better learn it to decide the difference between false religion and true religion. You see, because a false prophet, behind every false prophet, there's a spirit behind him. Either that spirit is from God or from the Satan. Now, in this day and age in which we are living, we have been bombarded by all kinds of faith, all kinds of false miracles, false signs, false preachers, false religion, false teachers, false witness. How can you decide which one which is true or not? You see, you need to look to the Bible because right there is your answer. Because what I'm preaching to you today, test every spirit, test every religion. Test every man, a woman also included. Test everybody, boy or girl. Test them to find out the person you are working with, if that person is in a true religion or if that person is in a false religion. Because we must recognize them. You see, listen to what Jesus Christ said, Matthew chapter 7, verse 5 to 23. Watch this. He said, beware of false prophets. Right there is the warning. Beware of false prophets 
will come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly and reverence wolves. In other words, they pretend to be one of you, but inside them is full of poisonous. Verse 16. Watch this. You recognize them by what? By their fruit. Are graves gathered from the thorn, from the thorn bushes or figs from the tassels? In other words, you cannot get orange from the apple tree. Right now, if you tell me you're a Christian and you're an apple tree, if I shake you, if Balakisi shake you, I want to see apple falling down. I don't want to see oranges. Verse 17. So every 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 healthy tree bears good fruit. But the seed tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit. Nor can a disease tree bear good fruit. Watch this verse 19. Everything that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. God is saying that you have to bear good fruit. Not just one fruit, bear good fruit. Right there in Genesis, right there in uh, uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. God has given us the fruit of the Spirit. Number one starting point is love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self control, passion. All these are the fruit of the Spirit that you must bear as a Christian. And by the way, we are called to be fruit inspectors. So if you want to come around for a Kingsley, I have to expect your truth. I have to expect the fruit that you are bearing. You see, my dear friend, talk is cheap, but doing is hard. The Bible says, by their fruit, we shall know them. Amen. Verse 20. Thus you recognize them by their fruit. Verse 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, we enter into the kingdom of heaven. But the one who does the will of my father who is in heaven. In other words, just quite say, if you do not keep my commandment, you don't love me. And if you don't love me, you don't keep my words. My word is not in you. I am not in you. Because on that last day, many people will be so disappointed. Just by we say to them, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, we enter into the kingdom of God. In other words, many people have been using the name of Jesus Christ in vain. Many people have been using the name of Jesus Christ to perform false signs, false miracles, you name it. So the Bible is telling you today, on the last day, Jesus Christ will say, Get behind me, you workers of iniquity. On the last day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do mighty works in your name? Now listen to this. And here is what the Lord Jesus Christ is going to say to them, to some people on that last day. And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Believe it or not, Jesus Christ is going to tell some people on that day, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. The message today is test every spirit. I don't care who that person may be. You must test the spirit. You must try the spirit. The Bible says, do not, do not believe every spirit, but test every spirit. Jesus Christ said, by their fruit, you shall recognize them, and you shall know them by their friend. The Bible says, by the fruit that bear, we recognize them, so, my dear friends, I have talked to you today about testing every spirit. Right now, if you are in the first religion, you can accept Jesus Christ right now as your Lord and as your Savior. All you have to do, say, Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Be my Lord, be my God, and be my Savior. I repent for my sins. I receive you. As my Lord and personal Savior, I believe that He died for me and He rose again. You are in heaven, and when I die, I will be with you. My dear friend, if you have made this prayer, I guarantee you to the word of God. The Bible says, Anyone who calls upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. The man blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.
Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.